Now we step back outside. I'll turn the remote control on. See, Sparky goes. S cargo. All right. Uh, put scanner inside Sparky. See, this is what I mean by violating laws of physics. You can basically take a robot that's the same size as another robot, and somehow it fits inside the other robot, like so. So here we go. We put scanner inside Sparky. And now I'm going to take Sparky, and he can carry everything with us just like that. Some places in Robotropolis are guarded by sentries, like the one in the next room. Try to get past it. In the sewer, you can sneak... Uh, sorry, you can ride inside a robot to sneak past a sentry. Take Sparky with you to see how. I'm going to just leave Sparky here for a second, and take a look at what's in the next room. Yeah, see, here's this robot. Uh, and if you try to walk past the robot, it grabs us. You can't get past the robot, it won't let us... It will not let us pass. So, uh, grab Sparky again, and let's see what we can do about that. First, be sure the remote control is off. Yes, it is, because we don't have that purple thing coming off our head. Then go inside Sparky. Turn the thruster switch on. And sit on the eye. Okay, I'm going to turn the... Actually, the thruster switch is on. Yeah, it's already on. And sit on the eye. While you sit on the eye, press R to turn the remote control on. Off you go. There we go. See? I press R to turn on the remote control, and Sparky goes. And once we're past the sentry, we can press R again to stop. There we go. I'll move off the eye. And um, I'll move Sparky out of the way so you can read the text a little better. Each robot is equipped with a claw-shaped grabber. Sparky is pre-wired to grab an object its body touches, not its grabber. Go inside to see the grabber control. I'm going to drop Sparky, and let's take a look. Yeah, see? This, uh, this grabber control, which is the thing I'm standing on right now, actually I'm standing on its output. I'm standing on the grabber output, which indicates if it has grabbed anything. The purple line just to the right of that is the grabber input, and that basically triggers the grabber. And you can see it's wired to this um, sort of triangle going into a circle. That's actually a knot gate. Uh, and that, the output of that being wired into the grabber basically permanently turns the grabber on. The, the grabber is hardwired to, uh, to just grab anything that the robot touches, anything that it can grab. So to pick up the triangle, turn the remote control on, then bump Sparky into it. Let's see, if I turn the remote control on... Oh, Sparky will just... There we go, see? I didn't even have to do anything. Sparky just bumped into the triangle and picked it up. Do I need to take Sparky with me? I might as well. I never know what... Excitement will face on future... Uh... Here we go. Robots get energy from batteries. Look at the battery and empty energy level inside checkers. Batteries drain quickly in Robotropolis, so turn off the thruster switches and remote control to conserve energy whenever possible. Take checkers with you. Actually, because I'm playing it in DOSBox, this game is running at a reasonable speed, but if you're playing this game in a real DOS window, you wouldn't even be able to get through this tutorial because the tutorial starts with the remote control on. And the robots, the game runs so fast, the robots will actually run out of battery power before you even get to the first robot, which is kind of funny. Uh, so, but, you know, in, in DOSBox, things work fine. So let's step inside Checkers and take a look at uh, what's going on here. Here we go. See, this little uh, thingy here is where you put a battery to charge up the robot. And see that black column right where the arrow is pointing? It says energy level. There's an arrow pointing at a little gap there. That's actually a bar graph. And the bar graph is empty right now, meaning the robot has no energy. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. so there we go. So let's take checkers with us. I guess we can leave Sparky behind. Uh, I'll leave Sparky there with his uh, grabbed triangle prize. He's clutching onto that triangle so feverishly. A dead battery can be recharged with an energy crystal like this one. Take the crystal inside checkers and drop it on the black crystal shape on the battery. Okay, I'll take this crystal, thank you. The crystal's energy drains into the battery to recharge it. The energy level fills to the top. Take checkers with you. Indeed it does. Watch what happens now when I move over that uh, battery thingy. Watch what happens to the energy level bar graph. I need to take baby steps. There we go. Bar graph fills up. And also the battery is now discharged, uh, so it just it turns.
turn white before it was kind of shimmering. Now it's just a dead white blob. But the energy level is up at the top, which means the robot is charged. Checkers is charged up. So I'm going to take checkers with us. And, aha, uh -huh, each robot is equipped with a radio antenna. Checkers' antenna beeps when it is in a room with an energy crystal. You will see why later. Take the energy crystal outside of checkers and drop it in this room. Actually, um, we can see why right now. Checkers' antenna beeps when it's in a room with an energy crystal. It, that's because the antenna, see the antenna up here? Again, once again, the line on the left is the antenna output. This is the antenna input, and the antenna input is wired to this thingy, which is a crystal detector. And when the crystal detector detects a crystal, it triggers the input on the antenna, which makes the antenna turn on. So I'm going to take this uh, this battery, uh, or it's actually an energy crystal, I'm sorry. Take the energy crystal outside of checkers and then drop it in this room. There we go, I just dropped it right there. Turn the remote control on and off and listen to the antenna. I'm going to turn the remote control on. See that? Checkers his antenna, lights up. The antenna develops this little uh, sort of aura or sparkle around it and also makes this annoying, incessant clicking sound. If I turn the remote control off, actually the antenna still retains its appearance, but it stops making that sound. So there you go, that's the sound of a robot's antenna basically uh, being active. Okay, take the crystal, put it back inside checkers, and take, take it with you. Meaning, I guess, take checkers with us. Drop the crystal there. Take checkers with us. Dead energy crystals can be recharged with rechargers like this one. Get the energy crystal and pass it over the recharger. Regrettably, there is no recharger in the sewer, but you may find one in higher levels. Oh, I wasn't... There we go, got the crystal. There we go, that little sound is the sound of the crystal recharging, and notice that, yes, it is now shimmering as it was before. Do I need, uh, do I still need checkers? I'm going to forge ahead for just a second and see what's up ahead. The transporters in Robotropolis carry you to the next level. To use one, put everything in one robot and hold on to the robot. Center your image exactly on the transporter image and away you go. This transporter takes you to the next room. Even has an arrow pointing to it saying transporter, just in case you weren't sure, just in case you thought maybe, uh, you know, maybe this empty space over here was the transporter. Yeah, that's got to be the transporter, right? No, it clearly tells us this is the transporter here, the only object in the room. Uh, and I need to take baby steps. And after a very nifty little sound effect, we are in the last room of this tutorial. Now we are ready for a great adventure in the sewer. Save your game often so you won't have to start from the beginning when you get stuck. See the manual. Conquer the sewer, then learn more about robot wiring to prepare for higher game levels. Happy venturing. Press escape to return to menu. Folks, you might think that all this seems awfully simplistic. You might seem, uh, it might seem like, uh, you know, I mean, this is, this is an educational game, and you might think, oh, it's just a kid's game, it's not very exciting. But actually, it gets really hard later on. This game is actually extremely difficult. It is, I consider it of adult-level difficulty in terms of the puzzles. So you might have just watched this tutorial and said, wow, why did I waste my time? No, actually, the game is actually, it's actually a lot of fun if you like logic puzzles, and you can see it's kind of based on digital electrical or electronic logic and it is uh yeah it is actually fun to play if you're into uh if you're into electronics and logic and, and that kind of thing so it will get a lot tougher later on believe me trust me it, this game gets a lot harder i don't even know if i'm going to be able to finish let's playing it honestly i'm uh, i actually made a request for somebody else to let's play it but nobody else wanted to so the task fell to me and i may have a hard time with it or i may not i don't know i really don't know what's going to happen we'll find out Anyway, this has been the first part of the tutorial for Robot Odyssey. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I will see you later.